VBA is fun. Checking back in with you. I had a quick question from Claire Smith. She said, hey, I have combo boxes. I want one to be uh, for me to make a selection from these different categories. And then based on my products page, like if I selected shoes, then only these things under shoes category would show up in the second combo box. So we can show you how to do that really quick. Very simple. Uh, we've got our table here. Hopefully this is a named range. Let's take a look here. Um, Alt IND for names manager looks like description is here and main is main is the category so we probably should make um, we should make uh, a new range based on this table here uh, if it's only going to be this table we could highlight it and name it but we're going to do something with the offsets so really quick I'm going to call it um, main underscore table and oops let's make this uh, equals offset and we're going to offset uh, here and we're going to go down one and over zero and then we're going to use the count a we're going to count all of the things in uh, uh, in a minus one because we don't want to we want to omit the the header there and then we're going to use the count a meaning count all of these uh, looks like since there's something over here in H that would be minus um, minus one as well so it would say one two three four for the number of uh, columns wide and it would say uh, whatever this is 30 for the for the col the rows wide so let's see here probably one more and hit the checkbox oh they don't like that let's do one less parentheses checkbox okay so if I click on there the dancing ants have it that is our dynamic range using offset and so if we did another one it would go from here to that new one so now that's main table that's the that's the area that we have so here's our combo boxes if I click shoes it right now it doesn't filter this down it has all of the things so let's go ahead and hit alt f11 and we'll take a look at some of the things going on here so instead of, um, let's go to developer tab, design mode. On the combo box, if we go to the properties, you can see here that I bet you there's something in the, um, let's see, the row, let's see, I'm looking. The list fill range is DESC. I'm going to take that out so because this is not going to be a named range for the list fill range. We have to do it one at a time. So um, based on this here, so let's double click on this. Whenever this cell is changed, uh, we, that's when we need to fill the other combo box. Or maybe not even change. Maybe how about just not every time a letter is typed, but maybe just whenever it is um, exited. So lost focus, perhaps. We'll use the. I don't see an exit on here, so that's why I like user forms better. But so whenever this uh, user form loses focus, that's when we're going to have it fill the other one up. So we'll just uh, let's go through the products page. We're going to dim uh, P sheet as a, a worksheet, and we're going to that's just declaring it. And then we're going to set P sheet equals this workbook. Dot sheets and the sheet is called products there we go so now we can refer to it as P sheet so um, we're gonna get the uh, let's see if we had if we had uh, we could just go through each one of these dang it I guess let's just pretend that we did a dynamic range here but let's just go ahead and give it a basic name we're going to call it cats for categories. So we're just going to have it go through each uh, cell in cats, and um, and uh, if this is equal to whatever's in this combo box right here, then uh, we'll shoot another um, uh, another add item to this combo box. So we need to start out. This combo box needs to be clear. Let's go to developer, take it off of design mode, make sure that it is empty, and it is. So we'll go to design mode, double click here. So whenever this is, loses focus, we need to reanalyze this combo box too here. So let's see here. Since we are in the module that is actually uh, not a module, but the sheet with called sheet one, we're we could actually use me dot 
and we could t refer to combo box one or combo box two. Otherwise, you'd have to refer to the actual sheet name and then put dot combo box one or two. So here we go. Real quick, whenever this uh, this combo box loses focus, we're going to analyze. We're going to say uh, for each cell in this workbook dot sheets um, products dot range and the range was called cats I believe that's a named range and for some reason Excel really likes it if you pinpoint the exact location and seat sheet and everything of of the range that we're referring to for VLOOKUPs and sometimes for for each cell in blah 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 and then of course we're going to put next cell and now we're going to loop through those so let's go ahead and hit F8 and debug through here so for each cell in blah 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 that range so the first thing we're going to do is um, we're going to compare that to what's in uh, me.com box combo box one so if me dot combo box one equals whatever's in the current uh, looped thing called cell you could name that any anything you want if that's equal to the combo box one then let's do our end if so let's hit f8 first the first time that cell looks like is coats so if if cell equals whatever's in our combo box it looks like coats and shoes are not the same so let's skip over that so let's hit stop here and let's hit F5 and so it'll only stop whenever these are true so shoes equals shoes great so here's where we want to be um, when that's the case then whatever so the current cell dot offset let's go over uh, zero rows up or down comma but one column to the right let's take that number and let's have that fill into our combo box so um, me dot combo box two dot add item tab so we're wanting to add an item to this combo box right here and that item just happens to be whatever is in the offset uh, going one cell to the right, column to the right, of our current cell that we're looking at, which is the first one that says shoes. So it's right here. So one over to the right would be size 12 lace brown. And that's what she wanted. So if we do that, let's hit Alt F11. Okay, so let's see what happens. Uh, we'll add that item, boom. And so now if we take a look here, we now have size 12 ladies brown. And so we would just continue along that path, take the stop thing out of there. And then um, one other thing I want to show you really quick, I'm just going to hit F5, and it ran through all of them. And if, if they had shoes there, then the offset cell would show here. So boom. Now, what you'll notice, if, if I choose hats and then I s click away somewhere, it will run the code again, but it'll layer that on top of what was already on there. It'll put that uh, as another add item and so on and so forth and then it'll do shoes again so we don't want that we want to clear out this list and then for it to refill it with only the applicable items so let's go ahead and do that part of the code right now basically at the very beginning you just want to take me dot uh, combo box two dot clear and that's all you have to do to clear that combo box so that time whenever I hit coat and I deselect it um, now it clears it out and then refills it with the stuff that I want. Now the final thing that um, uh, was requested is that as su that this needs even if I made a selection, let's say let's say I switch it to suits. Well, it still says purple size 100, uh, but now whenever I click away, it is it is cleared that out. So the the dot clear actually takes care of that as well. If you wanted to go overkill, you could put something like. Uh, at the very end, you could say me dot combo box two um, equals blank or double quotes. So that would double kill. You know that would really clear it out. So that's basically how to do that. Um, thanks for watching and God bless. Oh, and also you can download this workbook from uh, my Dropbox link in the video description for free. I don't forget to, uh, let's see, this one will be called uh, One Combo Box Changes Another. 
simple enough. And don't forget to download the ebook um, ex Essential Excel VBA Snippets. That's copy and pasteful code snippets that you can use for your own projects. Uh, check that out at excelvbaisfun.com. And check me out on Udemy for more premium courses that will uh, get you get you going from head from start to finish on your Excel VBA journey. Thanks for watching and God bless.